Hello. Um, bit of a rant warning here, so be be aware that this is not an educational video. Uh, this is about how the channel sustains itself and what the expectations are of YouTubers. So a couple of days ago, I got a comment on one of my videos just saying, stop putting adverts on your videos. And it got me thinking about this whole, you know, so the expectation there are of YouTubers. So I thought I'd talk you through how the, how the channel sustains itself, because the agreement I have at home is that my YouTube channel is one of my side projects. I always have side projects. The YouTube channel has been one that's been going on for a couple of years now, and I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I love doing it, but it has to be self-sustaining. It can't cost us as a family money. So I have advertising on there. I have two and a half thousand um, subscribers. And the way advertising on YouTube works is you have to have a thousand subscribers and 400,000 hours of viewing time or something like that in a year to be allowed to do advertising. So the advertising revenue on YouTube brings in between 30 and 60 pounds a month. If I have a really good month, like a Harley Benton video has come out or something like that, um, that may be a hundred pounds in the month. That money then goes back into the channel in some way. So it pays for website hosting for the amguitar.uk. It goes into some advertising sometimes. I might use YouTube adverts or Instagram adverts or something to try and boost the channel. Lighting, if I'm buying new lights or tripod or something like that. And then obviously gear to review. So for instance, last month's revenue um, a lot of that went on a Lunar Stone True Overdrive 1. Partly because I want it, but also because I thought it was interesting to review. It came up on Facebook as a, somebody local was selling it. And I thought, I've not seen many reviews of this. could be interesting. And obviously, it's something that I wanted because I'm reviewing things that I'm interested in a lot more these days. I don't get given much to review. Obviously, Donna, I got given stuff to review. I set, I'm now one of their artists, so they send me things as well. I've got a load of cool stuff coming from them soon. Um, I've got a Chevtone uh, Honey Burst that somebody's lent me to review. So I borrow stuff. Uh, I get given some stuff. The rest of it I buy either through Amazon or I find stuff on eBay or Facebook that I think is going to be interesting. And again, like I said, it's things that I want on my pedal board as well a lot of the time. Um, because that, I think, makes more interesting videos. So, you know, the Moss Lady uh, or the Mosky um, Golden Horse I bought with my own money. The MXR um, Sugar Drive, my money. Some of some input from the channel um, revenue, but my money. It's not been given to me. So the advertising helps pay for the channel to survive and thrive. I try very hard to avoid putting advertising in the middle of a video. I usually try and make sure it's at the end and at the start. Um, so I think the expectation for me not to make money off the channel is a little unfair, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, because it costs me to make content. So, yeah, when you see YouTubers with adverts, it's, there are some that take the mic. You know, you get some channels not guitars so much but there are channels that are just there to make revenue they just have hundreds of adverts churning out content that's just for trends and keywords i'm not i'm doing stuff that i'm enjoying doing that i think you guys might find interesting and i don't ask for any money for that i do have a patreon i do have a couple of very uh, loyal patreons and if you want to be a patreon there's a link down below for that i'm not asking you to be though because it's my channel i chose to make it at the same time I don't want it to take money away from my family, so I put the advertising in there to help balance those costs a bit. So I don't think it's unfair. Um, I'm not trying to get rich off this. It's not my job. It's a side project. So yeah, and it's a bit. I know it's a bit of a whinge, but I just thought it's it's useful to explain to people how things like this work because there is this assumption that if you're on YouTube, you're making a ton of money for free. It's not true. It takes time. You know. Every video takes a few hours to make, and that's my own time around my day job, around my family. There's a few hours for every video. It doesn't look like it sometimes, but it does take time to do recording it, setting up. Um, I don't have a studio. I have a, my spare room, so I have to kind of move things around a bit so you don't see all the piles of washing or ironing or, or coffee mugs from my day job in the day. You know, whatever it may be, 
it all takes time. And I think it's fair to use the tools that are available within YouTube to generate revenue to help not compensate that time, but make sure that that time doesn't eat financially into my family's money. I think that's fair. Let me know if you don't think that's fair. I'm really curious to see what people feel about this. Should YouTubers be using advertising? Should I be asking pedal, pedal companies to pay for two and a half thousand viewers to see something? You know, I don't think they're going to pay me right now. When I get to about 10,000 viewers, maybe I can ask for a bit of money towards reviews. But right now, the only revenue is two Patreons and the advertising. So I, don't know, I can't quit my day job quite yet. Let me know in the comments. Obviously, like, subscribe, and please join my Patreon. Pay me money. No, if you want to, great. If you don't, eh. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're just here looking at my lovely face and enjoying my content.